For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, once every six seconds, day and night, weekdays and holidays, another automobile accident adds to the toll of death, injury, and property damage. Ever since the first auto accident, law officials have always grappled with the explanation that answers the question, what exactly happened? This test footage might be quite dated, but detailing what happens before, after, and during a crash hasn't really changed in years. To understand a crash, you have to create one. Fast forward several decades ahead to the Pennsylvania Transportation Institute located on the University Park campus of Penn State. This may be present day, but this footage looks eerily similar to the older footage. Actually, the way it was done years ago is pretty much the way it's done today. One or two cars are put on a sled and pulled until the vehicles reach a certain speed and collide. In the cars are crash test dummies wired to measure the forces that they come under during the crash. The only difference comes when you compare the quality and quantity of the data collected. This seminar that the Transportation Institute holds once every year is designed to sharpen the skills of accident investigators in a forever changing landscape. Each year we have this seminar as sort of an update to stay up on the latest trends. 15 or 20 years ago you wouldn't have had anti-lock brakes, airbags, a lot of things that you have now so every year we try to get the latest data to these guys so they can stay up to where they need to be with their technology, with their knowledge, so they can successfully take cases into court. The Pennsylvania Transportation Institute is an interdisciplinary research unit of Penn State's College of Engineering. One of their goals is to provide research information pertaining to transportation for professionals locally and around the country. This demonstration was attended by officials from 82 police departments from around the country and Canada. Uh, this is part of a bigger event for the uh, accident reconstruction persons within the police corps. Um, actually, we have police here from 48 different departments from 13 states, uh, four different departments from Canada. And these are the, the people who are within the police are doing the accident uh, reconstruction. And they were mostly interested in biomechanics uh, and then the behavior of human bodies in, in a crash. Well, the, the analysis of images, the high-speed video and other uh, measurements we're going to make here, they're going to enable them to better understand how the vehicle absorbs energy in a, a high-speed impact. This was a 72 mile per hour impact. How does that energy transfer to the occupants and how the occupant's body actually moves in a high-speed crash if they are restrained and if they're not. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.